Alam Daniel, and welcome to the Amuna Project. We here at the Amuna Project are continuing in our series of videos with respect to information, education, inspiration, guidance, advice, and I want to continue it in our series of videos of the Hasidic Masters. And I want to talk about Rabbi Sholem Shachna of Probish. Um, Sholem Shachna was the son of a Hasid called, that was referred to as Avram the Angel. Um, Rabbi Sholem lost his parents at a very early age. And um, when he was young, he grew up in the house of uh, Rabbi Nachum of Chernobyl. And eventually, <clears throat> um, Rabbi Sholem uh, ended up marrying Rabbi Nachum's granddaughter. However, some of uh, Rabbi Shulam's uh, ways were quite different from Rabbi Nachum, and uh, in many ways displeasing to Rabbi Nachum, his grandfather, his grandfather-in-law. Um, he wasn't, uh, Rabbi Shulam uh, Shachna was not very constant um, in his devotion to the teachings. Um, he wouldn't go to the study hall as often as the others. And the other Hasidim kept urging Rabbi Nachum of Chernobyl to force Rabbi Shulam to live more austerely. One year, during the month of Elul, a time when everybody contemplates uh, Truva, returning to God, preparing for the, the days of awe, the days of judgment, Rabbi Shulam, instead of going to the uh, house of study along with the, uh, the others, he would um, go off into the woods every morning, wander around the woods, doing whatever he's doing, and then come back in the evening. Finally, Rabbi Nachman uh, had enough. He sent uh, for him to be taken out of the woods, bring back, and he admonished him he says, from now on, you're going to learn a chapter of Kabbalah every day and you to recite the Psalms. That's what you do. This walking around the woods stuff, that's not right. Do like all the other young people at this time of year. That's the way it goes. <clears throat> I don't want you uh, idling along. I don't want you uh, loafing in the woods. It's ill-becoming. To someone, you know, like me. You're my uh, grandson-in-law. This is not seemly. Rabbi Shulam listened silently and attentively. And then he said, It once happened that a duck's eggs were put into a hen's nest and she hatched them. The first time the hen walked with the ducklings behind her, she happened to walk near a brook. And immediately the ducklings took off, jumped in the water, and started swimming all over the place. And they're having the time of their lives swimming merrily. The duck, the, the hen, ran along the banks of the bro uh, brook in great distress, clucking to the uh, frolicking uh, ducklings to come back immediately, lest they drown. What are you doing there? What's the matter? Don't you know you're going to get in trouble? You're not going to drown? What's, what's going on with you? Come on, quick, quick, come back to shore. And the ducklings <clears throat> merely said, don't worry about us, mother. We needn't be afraid of the water. We know how to swim. In other words, Abshulam Shachna was telling Rabbi Nachman of Chernobyl that you're afraid that I'm wandering around in the woods. I know what I'm doing. I'm not afraid of the water. I'm communing with God. Others are in the house of study, doing, reading the Zohar, reading the Psalms, doing what they want, but I'm in the water, and I know how to swim. We're going to be doing more videos along these lines. Please come back. Please watch. Please learn. And until next time, on behalf of the Amuna Project, I'm Daniel. 
and thank you too much.